The very moment you miss a stage in watermelon growth, it has no reverse to go back to eighth stage. As of now, we are a week plus days after our watermelon has germinated and our watermelon is calling and is calling for one purpose, for nutritional approach. And which nutrient are we applying today? Should we apply fertilizer at planting or should we not apply? And the big question remains, is it necessary to apply fertilizer or is it necessary to use a nutritional product to your watermelon? And that is what I want to answer you today. From farming experience, from, from agronomy point of view, and from the farmer and the agronomist combined. So I'm three in one today. And for the few years that I've been doing watermelon, there is this simple term that I usually use when I'm training farmers or when I'm taking farmers through the process of watermelon farming. And it's, very, it's, it's an honest uh, answer, but few things, it's a brutal answer. Few things that I'm arrogant to them. When I tell them that watermelon will never forgive you. Watermelon will never forgive you. People think that I'm, I'm arrogant to them when I tell them that. But the reason why I usually tell them that is because the very moment you miss a stage in watermelon growth, it has no reverse to go back to eighth stage. As of now, we are a week plus days after our watermelon has germinated, and our watermelon is calling and is calling for one purpose, for nutritional approach. And which nutrient are we applying today? And here with me, I have something good. And not good for you, not good for me, but good for my watermelon. Like you've always known me as an organic guy. I also have an organic product that I'm using today. And that is what I'm using as my first fertilizer. The first fertilizer that you're supposed to use in your watermelon farming. And why am I using this fertilizer? This fertilizer, I'm using this fertilizer because of what the young watermelon needs. Not because of what I've decided. Not because of the plan that is there. Why am I using this fertilizer? Why am I, have I decided that today is, a, is fertilizer applying application day? Why is it so? It's not because of the plan. It's not because of my agronomic services. It's not because I have money to do it. It's because of what the young watermelon has requested me to do. Let's take an example. When it rains, when it has started raining, how do you behave? Do you continue putting on a t-shirt like the one that I've, I've put on? Do you continue putting on a cap that, like the one that I've put on? What do, how do you respond? You put on a warm jacket, you take an umbrella to prevent yourself from the rains. The same same thing happened to this young watermelon. At this stage, it has called and it has told me, now I have germinated, I want to start developing my roots. And because I know what it is needed for it to develop the roots, that's why I've come with this fertilizer. You can use either organic or inorganic fertilizer. And in my case, I'm using a phosphorus-rich fertilizer. Why is it a phosphorus-rich fertilizer? The phosphorus-rich fertilizer is because these young seedlings need phosphorus for it to develop roots, for it to develop the stems, and for it to grow strong. It needs phosphorus. But inside that phosphorus fertilizer, it has some nitrogen in it, which is an important element in growing of the leaves and the new shoot. But what is higher than the other 
as the phosphorus because that is what is needed in plenty in this young watermelon. You need to start paying me. You need to start paying me. You need to start paying for these tissues because there is no class that will ever teach you this. So you as a farmer, away from payment, I'm very happy even if you are not paying and I know you are not going to pay, you are here benefiting from what I'm telling you. Because if it were not for you, subscribing to this YouTube channel, joining this class, I could not have motivation or I could not have the reason why I should wake up tomorrow and prepare more notes and prepare more videos to train you. But because of you, that's why I'm here today. So the first fertilizer for the young watermelon, which is supposed to be done the first week after germination, or once you transplant it, because there are other farmers who will decide not to, to do the seeds, they are going to do the seed ring and now they, are, they, they apply the fertilizer. After the seed ring has been done, you apply these phosphorus fertilizer. Have you learned something today? On top of that, on top of that, if you cannot use the granule fertilizer, which is the one that I'm using today, you can also use a foliar fertilizer. But remember the concept, it phosphorus based foliar, phosphorus based, based fertilizer, or phosphorus based product. So phosphorus must be higher than other nutrients when you are starting your watermelon farming journey. Hope you've learned something from our today's session and if this is the first time that you're watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.